Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This question came in to me through a private message, Doug's Tech, and Doug uh, has been responding to some of my YouTube videos with his own solutions. Uh, when I was asking about what people use to record their Skype calls, he followed up with an on-screen demonstration that was quite useful. I don't know if I would necessarily choose his software solution over, over Pamela for recording conversations that happen in Skype, but no matter. Uh, am I doing Saturday Night Live news? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> and as you see, this, this piece of paper is white, and if I was doing official newscasting, it would likely be blue, so as to get better color in terms of the video, but that's not the question. The question was, or is, uh, the difference between USB and FireWire. And I thought this was a very good question because, you know, we see all these peripherals out there uh, when we go to make purchasing decisions. And um, anymore, there really isn't a decision to be made between USB or FireWire. Uh, by and large, it boils down to the device and what the device supports. And most devices are USB 2.0 at this point, and of course 2.0 is backwards compatible with 1.0. In terms of speed, let's just talk about that uh, just for a second. USB 2.0 tops out at theoretically 480 megabits per second, whereas FireWire currently goes up to 400, although FireWire 800 is allegedly around the corner. I don't know if I've even heard of any FireWire 800 devices at this point. Um, and if there are, hey, it's news to me. Uh, and most of the FireWire devices that you see anymore are, are cameras, digital cameras, video cameras, uh, usually connect uh, to the computer by FireWire, except <laughs> the one digital camera that I just recently purchased, an HD cam, uh, the, uh, it's, an, it, it's in format ABC HD, um, the uh, HDC, I think it's, I showed this off in an earlier video a while ago. Uh, the uh, let's see here HDR SR1. This is a Sony digital camera or video camera. It shoots HD. Amazing sound. Amazing picture. Problem is, is that it doesn't have a FireWire interface. So there's no way of you know mounting it as a, a webcam on my uh, system. Um, so most of the devices that you're going to see are FireWire compatible are going to be video cameras. I don't think I've really seen any other peripherals like mice and keyboards that are FireWire. Most of them are USB. The nice thing about USB is it's, it's pretty darn ubiquitous. Um, now in terms of the cables, they're, they're obviously different. Uh, they've got, uh, there's, uh, for USB, of course, they've got the, the, uh, the standard, um, uh, standard type A, type B connectors for FireWire. There's the six pin versus the four pin. I don't, I don't think, you know, that's that's the real question. The question is, where would you use one over the other? And like I said, largely that will boil down to what the device supports. And most device, most devices out there uh, just are inherently USB, hopefully USB 2.0. Now, in terms of data transfer, even though USB tops out at 480 megabits per second in FireWire most devices top out at about 400 megabits per second. Firewire devices have less overhead and then, in, in as has been done in tests, um, even though it's, again, in theory, or actually in, by spec, it's less transfer megabits per second. With Firewire, it is actually faster, just because, again, less CPU overhead, less, uh, you know, in terms of the actual protocol, less overhead. Um, so, for, for the most part, uh, it, it does boil down to the device. Most uh, systems that ship these days obviously have USB ports. Uh, very few, uh, if any, uh, do you find, very few times, if any, do you find FireWire actually built into the motherboard, whereas USB is. Uh, of course, if you've got a Mac, FireWire is right there. If you've got a PC, it's, it's not always there. Can be added by USB. <laughs> It's really funny. Uh, USB a FireWire over USB kind of defeats the purpose. Or just you know adding a capture card. Um, in some cases, a, a media reader sometimes will have a, f a FireWire connector as well. Um, but those are you know the the, the big differences uh, b between the two. It usually boils down to speed and the device compatibility. Um, the uh, I can tell you too that the uh, the cables you know can vary in length, but they're usually about the same size. Uh, in, in terms of, of, of how, how far you can go with one cable uh, versus the other. Your iPod uses FireWire. Must be an old iPod. Um, newer iPods do use USB, that is correct. What's an iPod? That's a question for a completely other day. Oh, uh, another, another limitation here, well, if you'd call it a limitation, 
Again, in theory, you can have 127 USB devices connected to a system uh, or chained together, uh, whereas I think FireWire is somewhere around 60 or 67 devices.